Select your character. Guess who screwed up? Hey everyone, RSKOS here, and welcome back to another episode of Sonic Adventure. Uh, I screwed up. I accidentally recorded the next stage, like, fully, and never hit the record button. And this is one of those games that auto-saves, believe it or not, which is normally great, but it's the curse of any Let's Player, so, whoops. Uh, luckily, we didn't miss any story stuff, don't worry, we just missed the stage, but... I actually found out about something, and that is, the stage doesn't unlock in draw mode right away, which is weird. So, ta-da! Alternate save file where I've already beat the game. Uh, this is as good as time as any to show off trial mode, I guess. Having to replay a stage. Whoops. Uh, if you're curious, we got a chaos somewhere from the stage. I screwed up a little bit. Uh, ice cap zone. You can see the three emblem stages here, as well as your best score, best clear time, and most rings. I guarantee you, we're gonna shatter that clear time. This is a really old save. Ice Cap Action Stage. Don't worry, I didn't miss anything other than me playing the stage, which I'm about to replicate. Collect 50 rings and destroy the capsule. Capsule. Rem remember, the original stage was just to get to the end. Which, uh, won't be a problem. Also, I didn't mention this in my other recording, but if you touch those robots there, they will freeze you. This stage is very interesting in that it's not so much broken as Sonic just breaks everything. The spin dash is particularly broken on this stage in that you can do some pretty crazy stuff, honestly. We already have the 50 rings we need, and you're supposed to kind of navigate through some caves around this part of the stage to move on, but honestly, you can just spin... Ooh, screwed that up. Let's try that again. You can just kind of spin dash jump all the way up and over. My aim is really bad right now, but it is possible. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Wow, I did this, like, second try. Previous recording. Now I'm screwing it all up. Joy! Uh, ow. Okay, I know this is possible. I literally did it ten minutes ago. I want to cheat the stage, dang it. Come on. <laughs> Aha! There we go. Uh, you can just kind of spin dash jump up here, and it saves a lot of time if you can pull it off successfully. Nice speedrunning trick. And you want another, another fun speedrunning trick? This room is notorious for causing players a lot of trouble with its really bad camera, and honestly just not being all that fun. But what you can do is you can come up here, and if you have... If you're really careful, you can spin dash jump all the way up here. Let's see if I can finagle the camera to be back up here. There we go. And after that... We make this icicle fall, and... You're not... You're not imagining things. This skips this entire room. A simple spin dash jump from the start skips this entire room. Yeah, this stage is really broken with the spin dash. Unfortunately, Spin Dash won't help us coming up. Whoa! Meet the one thing this stage is remembered for, the snowboarding. Yeah, this is pretty cool and has been reused to oblivion and back when other Sonic games. Thankfully, it's not like Sonic 06 where you can just go uphill or like it is in Adventure 2 where you can just Spin Dash back into the truck and make it go back uphill. Uh, this one is pretty solid. The only thing a little interesting about this segment is that that avalanche can never hit you. In fact, it disappears once you go into this cave entirely. And not only can that not hit you, nothing else can either. You are completely invulnerable during the skate, uh, snowboarding segment. Kind of weird. It might have been interesting if you could get damaged here, but that also might be kind of infuriating because as fun as this... Whoa. As fun and interesting as this is, it's not the easiest to control. I'm also getting flashbacks to the sn to the uh, sledding mission in Twilight Princess. Anyone remember that? Uh, if you hit A on the end of these ramps, you can do a trick and get some really sick speed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pretty sure I wasn't supposed to be up there. Okay. Yet, even these explosions do not harm you. You are completely invulnerable in this segment. Got a hundred rings and an extra life to boot. 
too bad. Come on, Sonic, I said you can't go uphill. Uh, too bad that extra life doesn't help me in this file. Yeah, uh, sorry again about that. I kind of screwed the boots there. I haven't forgot to hit record in an extremely long time. That's unlike me. Oh, God, the king. That was a great time for the screen to go black. Uh, I've mentioned this before. The way I record GameCube games is not the best. I'm recording it on Wii, of course, but... Eh, it's... it's my recording setup for this isn't the best. Admittedly, and occasionally the screen just kind of goes black on me. Yeah, I don't see it, but it, if I'm watching the TV, it screws me up. Uh, originally, there would be a Chaos Emerald here, of course. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna go back to an alternate universe where Sonic hadn't already played this and where Tails joined him, and instead of rescuing animals, we got a Chaos Emerald. Yeah, not bad. But hey, more save, more done for the completion. Uh, ignore that. Ah, back in the normal reality, where we have a Chaos Emerald and not a bunch of random animals for the child guarding. If you're at all curious, and yes, I know this because I tested this while ago, funnily enough, you can't re-enter Ice Cap Zone. I know there are a few points in the game where you simply cannot uh, go back into a level, and I suspect I know why this is the case here, but yeah, it just made my job of showing off that level the, all the more harder. On the plus side, we can see that this ladder goes absolutely nowhere, and Sonic just somehow got the ice cap by climbing this ladder originally. If you're wondering, this is how you get in the ice cap. We're just on the other side of the uh, pond here, which was in this area behind the door. Uh, all y'all missed, like I said, is the key, but something else y'all missed is the little thing I do at the beginning of every episode where the game recaps. Don't worry, I do have recording of... Never mind. I don't have recording of that. For some reason, I thought I had a recording of that. I don't. Uh, it was essentially just like, dang it, Eggman stole the emerald. Amazing reenactment. Onward. It was like we beat Xenopolis, but Eggman stole that emerald. Now we're off to Ice Cap. Something like that. You you get the idea. Uh, yeah, that, that was awkward. Uh, I'll try not to make that mistake in the future. Our next destination is up here. What's up, Knuckles? Something bugging you? No time for games, Sonic. Give me the emeralds you have right now. What? Let's just see you take them. Huh. That scene is so ridiculous. And you know what else is ridiculous? This boss fight. We have a boss fight against Knuckles. It oh, no. is painfully easy. Oh no. This brings up a problem I have with this game. 85% of the bosses, I would say, like 80 to 90% of the bosses are complete jokes. I'm actually incredibly surprised I managed to get hit there. Because normally, this fight is a complete joke. I'm literally running circles around him. Uh, it's an interesting though, is Knuckles can glide, but yeah, he's incredibly easy. Oh no! The Chaos Emeralds! Taking candy from a baby. That's a chaos emerald. That's right, fool. You made it all too easy. You practically gave them to me. Hold it right there, creep. You can't get away with this. Knuckles, don't tell me Eggman tricked you again. Me? What about you? Way to go, knucklehead! Now, I have four lovely emeralds! Chaos! These are for you, my friend! Man, no one 
never cuts us any slack. Oh boy, here we go. The boss fight with Chaos 4. Uh, I sound really annoyed. Don't worry, this boss fight isn't particularly hard, but it's not, like, super easy either. Honestly, there's nothing wrong with this fight at all other than the fact that you walk on water for some reason. You, have, you just have to wait till he surfaces and then hit him in the head. My problems with this fight are, well, we'll talk about that once we get to the other stories, let's just say. Yeah, you can just spin dash around the arena to dodge basically everything real fast. He'll just shoot random waves at you, I guess. And the only other real danger is if you forget that you can't walk on water, I guess, in true Looney Tunes fashion, and stand on it too long, you will actually sink into it, and that will damage you. Other than that, this fight isn't particularly challenging. It's just... Again, we'll get to why I'm not a fan of this fight later. Again, as, since you can still spin dash in the water, and let's be honest, that is Sonic's most invaluable tool. As long as you keep spin dash jumping, he'll never hit you. His, when he gets lower in health, he will separate into balls, I guess, and start uh, sending them toward you. Can I ask a question, though? Chaos is basically made of water. So can I ask why he doesn't just kind of dissolve in the water or maybe like he's the water here is a part of him that that could actually explain why we're not thinking into it i only just thought of that huh the thing is this fight isn't explained any better in the sonic x anime which yes i actually watched the adventure saga of that anime or not even anime just cartoon as terrible as that show is in general, I was at least willing to give that a shot. It was okay. I'd rather play the game, but eh. Will you surface already? There you go. Oh, lily pad. If you're wondering what on earth that was, it was supposed to be Sonic drowning. I probably was not very convincing. Behold my floating masterpiece, the Egg Carrier! But it fails in comparison to the power of chaos. Adieu, until we meet again, my friends! <laughs> You can now play with Knuckles. Yep, wait, whoa. The saving completely canceled my jump. Also, I've never really mentioned this, but if you're ever like flying through the air, hit B again and it'll stop you in place. Really, really cool if you're getting some distance but need to do some more precise platforming. We actually have some time in the video, which is not what I was expecting to have. I was gonna end it here, but nope, we have more than enough time to do. Oh God, what's coming next? Again, I, I was just mentioning earlier that this game likes variety, or I guess I mentioned that in a bad recording. This game sometimes can't really decide what type of game it wants to be. I'm personally fine with that, it's just more variety. But I would admit some of the sections are uh, a little bland, such as this coming up. Whee! Sonic, wait here for a second.
I'm sorry, Sonic should have just completely flown off the back of that plane when it took off. Just saying. Sky Chase Act 1 sub game. These are also available once you complete them from the uh, trials mode, which is the same area I went to in order to play Ice Cap. I'll probably be showing this stuff off a little more in depth near the end of the Let's Play, probably during some bonus episodes. But uh, yeah, it's only Pants Dragoon. I've never really played that game, but I've heard that's what it's like. <laughs> anyway, uh, you can hold down B to home in on your targets here and hit them. Honestly, this section is no harder than what we went through with the snowboarding section and the avalanche. You're not invincible here, but you may as well be. You do get the score for blowing things up, though. You do have a health bar as well, so keep an eye on that, but honestly... I don't think I've ever got hit during this. And here's where I get hit. Ooh, Sun Flare. Whoa! What did I just say? Uh, you can also take these things out, too. That, that was instant karma. I need to stop. Wow. I swear, if I lose this... I will say, I do believe there is a limit to how many targets you can target at once. There is something interesting about this stage, too. Similar to Windy Valley, people who have hacked into the game have uncovered that there actually may have been a boss fight planned for the setting. There was this rope, two-headed robot dragging that you would have encountered in this area. It is actually fully functional with the help of a little bit of mods and a little bit of hacking. However, after a certain point, it just kind of disappears in the stage, meaning it was probably going to be destroyed by some sort of scripted event. You'll probably figure out what said scripted event was in just a little bit, to be honest. I have my suspicions as to what event was supposed to destroy the dragon. In fact, we're about to find out right now. Would have been cool though. Way to go, Tails. Yeah, my guess is that was a scripted event supposed to destroy the dragon and end the stage. Ooh, up we go! <laughs> I don't know why the camera just zooms in on them like that. I'm sorry, that, that one always Tails. gets me. You're not who I'm looking for. Oh, I wonder if he's okay. I need to watch that back. Did Sonic just kind of glide up the stairs. I'm not going over there because that's back to Emerald Coast, but did Sonic just glide up the stairs? Like, it looked like his walk cycle just stopped. I'm gonna have to check that later. Anyway, we have been separated from Tails and are on our own. Next time on Sonic Adventure. If I remembered, you know, to hit the record button, we will be going to our next stage and hopefully looking for Tails or anyone, really. And see if we can get back our Chaos Emeralds. Thank y'all for watching. I've been RSKOS, and I will see y'all next time. Take care. Bye!